Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we had a question on one of our e-commerce sites. Somebody was asking how to add a PayPal smart button. Uh, really easy to do. We actually did it on a different theme site. We're going to do it with Elementor today as they were asking the question with that. And PayPal smart buttons, you can set a price and it now allows people to obviously pay with PayPal or debit and credit card and go straight to your PayPal account. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing you need to do, obviously, is go over to your PayPal, go over to pay and get paid, and go down to buttons, PayPal buttons. This will bring you to this page. Hit the smart buttons. Now you can choose what type. I'm going to use fixed price for this. You can use variable price, put variable prices in, get them to select if you want to. I'm going to use fixed price. Uh, just give it whatever name you want. And the cost of it. Currency, obviously. You can put your shipping in there if you want to charge different shipping and a tax rate if you want to pull tax. And as you can see, it gives you a preview of what the buttons are going to look like over here. This on mobile, desktop will be a bit bigger, like that, which is fine. If we roll down over here, we've got button style, and you can change it from the default sort of yellow color there to a blue color, which I kind of like. I'm going to use today silver, white, black, different styles vertical, horizontal, rectangular, pill shaped. That's a pill shaped button right there. But for me, that's going to work right there. So we put everything that I need to know in there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the copy code button. OK, let's go back to our Elementor site. I'm going to leave this one right here. Let's add a new section. So I'll hit edit with Elementor. And I'm going to say new section. I'm going to put an image in for the thing that I'm trying to sell here. Before I put that image in, I'm going to add another column for the text and the button. So I'm going to go up to the little dark icon up there, right click, hit add new column. There we go. Now I'll put my image in. Choose whatever it is you want to sell. There it is right there. I'm going to give it a little title at the top here. Just using a heading. Left click, drag it over. Whatever you want to say. I'm going to pop that in the middle. I'm not going to start it very much. I'll just change the text color from that to perhaps a black or a dark blue or something. Obviously you style yours just exactly how you want. Then you want a little description about it. So I'm going to use a text editor module for that. Again, left click, drag, just drop it underneath, release. I'll leave that lorem ipsum in there for the description and we'll put a price. Can't remember how much I charge in the PayPal button. Twelve ninety nine, I think it was. Yeah, twelve ninety nine. There we go. And I'm going to make that a title by selecting it. Simply going up to where it says paragraph up here. Left click to the drop down. Make it a heading two. Let's make that a color of its own too. Little A with the underline there. Little drop down arrow. I'll make it a dark blue also. There we go. And the only other thing I want to do is I'm going to select all of this and put it in the middle. Great. Now we can add our PayPal smart button. Now there's two ways you can do this. Remember we copied the code. The code was copied by hitting the button here. So we can either use a text module, which I will use, or an HTML module, which is down here and also comes with the free version. There it is, HTML. So either will work. But if you use a text module like I'm going to use today, let's grab it and drag it and put it in place. Get rid of that. 
You want to make sure and this is really important if you're using a text module go over and make sure you're on the text tab not the visual tab because if you're on the visual tab it will show the code rather than the images related to the code and then paste the PayPal code that we copied in here now sometimes quite often in fact with short codes and things you won't see anything on the builder side on the end right here but if we save it will be on the front end so I'm going to go ahead and just preview the changes we haven't saved or anything I'm just going to go ahead and preview the changes And as you can see, our buttons are there, which is absolutely perfect. So don't worry if you don't see them on the builder end. So there you have it. We've successfully added a PayPal smart button to our Elementor site. Really easy to do. And that's a great little thing. If you're trying to sell products, you can create them just with an image. You'll get a notification when somebody's paid you and you can ship it out from there. And as you saw earlier, there's various options for styling your PayPal buttons to make them sort of fit your site. So if we're happy with this, I may as well go ahead and publish it. I think I'll just change that blue to be the same as this. I've got a little free chrome color picker up here. Let's see what color this actually is. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back up into my title. I'll go to style text color. I can paste that hex code in there. There we go, so they're matching now. And obviously I haven't spent much time. You could trim down your image and make things look nicer and what have you, but I'm fairly happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and publish. And we'll have a look. Eyeball or click where it says have a look right there. And there it is. There's our little item with a description, a price, and a PayPal, pay now, pay later, or debit and credit card entry. So simple for selling things on your site, really easy to do, and a great thing if you've got something to sell. It doesn't cost you anything. So there you have it. There's how to add a PayPal smart button to your Elementor website. And like I mentioned earlier, this will work with both the free version and the paid version. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out our other Elementor playlist below this video for more things about Elementor. There's some great video stuff down there. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.